gonna check volts. And we're gonna sit down and talk about these batteries. I'm running the Dakota Lithium 12 volt, 135 amp hour battery. It's a deep cycle plus starting battery. I have roughly 30 hours on these batteries. Okay, set to DC here. We are sitting at 1269. I'm not sure these batteries are ever gonna die. I wanted to give you guys an update on these Dakota lithium batteries. As of right now, we're sitting at like 30 hours on these batteries after the first charge. 30 hours on these batteries. And I know the voltage doesn't drop a whole lot with lithiums, but we're just trying to find that number to where you know you need to charge these. And I've been told around 1199 is when these are dead, okay? Or you need to charge them. And we're sitting at 1269 right now. And it was 1302 before I started today. So 1269 after another four, four or so hours of fishing, my four and a half hours of fishing, 1269. So I'm sure I could at least get another 10, 12 hours out of these batteries before I need to charge them. Today's Monday. I plan on fishing Thursday and Friday. So I was thinking about putting them on the charger tonight. Though I know I'm good for the next couple of days. But by looking at the numbers, I mean, I really should be, should be able to get a couple more days, at least, at least 10 more hours out of these batteries before I need to charge them. But to think I could get possibly 40 plus hours out of these batteries, I mean, that's that's pretty crazy, right? If you guys have any experience with lithium batteries, let me know the runtime that you guys got out of your batteries. But like I said, right now we're sitting at 30, and I'm pretty sure I could get 40 out of these batteries. Now, as far as size goes, these are a 24 series size battery. I was running 27 size series before. Now, if you guys remember my tracker, I ran 29, and I think even 31 size in that boat but these are 27s that i was running in here now running the 24 from dakota so as far as size goes these are probably about 25 percent smaller than the 27 series that i was running okay so which is nice because it frees up some space back there and i even took out the onboard charger just because the dakotas come with a charger you can use your onboard charger but i don't believe it'll charge the lithium batteries to the full capacity so i just took it out and I'm just using the Dakota chargers that, that come with the batteries. But uh, it really did free up a lot of space back there. And if you guys remember when I got this boat, I went with the Talons because Lewis said there was no room for pumps. But now with these smaller batteries and the charger removed, I could totally fit a couple pumps back there if I wanted to. So that is something to consider. If you guys have a pretty tight space back there, you'll gain some space with you know these lithium batteries. Now, as far as uh, weight goes. I really didn't have a huge weight loss with these batteries because I'm only running a 24 volt system and I was only running 27 series, um, you know, size series batteries. And I, I believe um, each one of those 27 series was 49 pounds each. So roughly 100 pounds in the lead acid. And these are 27 pounds each, I believe. So I roughly took you know, 50 pounds out of the boat. So not a huge weight loss, but I mean, I could put another 50 pounds of tackle in here. So either way, it's it's not a bad deal. It, didn't, it wasn't a huge weight loss, but, but either way, it, it still is 50 pounds less in the boat now. So pretty cool. Okay, as far as runtime goes, like I said, we're, we're at 30 hours on these batteries. Now keep in mind, when I say 30 hours, it's not like I'm on the trolling motor 30 hours consistently. Okay, but it's the same for everyone. You know, you're gonna troll, you're gonna make a few casts, get back on the trolling motor. So again, it's not 30 hours nonstop, it, but it's 30 hours of fishing. And uh, and keep in mind too, I mean, I do troll pretty fast for the most part. I'm probably always on 60, 70%, if not, if not faster than that. And you guys know, I don't start the outboard up all that much, you know, for these lakes are not that huge. So, I mean, I troll, you know, a lot. So I probably have, when I say 30 hours, I probably have more hours trolling on these batteries than probably the average guy. So again, something to keep in mind as well. But again, we're on 30 hours with these batteries on my lead acid batteries. Every time I came home, I'd put them on the charger just because you can just never trust those batteries. 
and as they would start to drain, you would lose power as well, and that's a big deal with these lithiums. You have full power till the batteries die. So as the battery starts to drain, you're not losing power. You have you know, the full capacity, full power until those batteries die. So that's a pretty big deal as well. But like I said, after each day of fishing with the lead acid, I plugged them in. So you have just a much longer run time with the lithiums compared to the lead acid. Like I said, I was charging every single day, uh, 30 hours here. This is probably, I don't know, five, six trips for me. So that's pretty cool. It'd be great if you like, uh, you camp a lot with your rig and all that. You can go multiple days without needing to charge your battery. So, so pretty cool there. But 30 hours means even if guys are fishing, you know, uh, 10 hours a day, you know, that's still three full solid days of fishing. Or if you're fishing shorter days like me, like again, you're at five, six days, and I'm sure I can get another easy, probably 10, 12 hours out of those batteries. So, I mean, that's like seven, eight trips for me. So that's, that is pretty dang awesome. So you're definitely getting way more runtime out of the lithium batteries compared to you know a single charge on your lead acid batteries all right last up we're going to talk price which is a big one these batteries come in at 1400 bucks a piece you're talking almost three g's for a pair of batteries but how you have to look at this is these have a 11 year warranty so how many lead acid batteries are you going to buy you know over the course of 11 12 years so I'm sure it won't add up to the lithium price, but at least you get to enjoy the benefits of having the lithium batteries over that time, right? So it's definitely an investment. You're either gonna pay the money now and get yourself a lithium, or you're going to pay it over the next 10, 11 years buying lead acid. Like I said, the choice is yours. I'm just here to tell you guys the advantages of the lithium batteries. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to smash the thumbs up Love you guys, and we will see you guys on the next one.